Hey everyone, it's Flash Sentry back for some more Formula 1 career mode. And today I'm starting my Formula 1 career mode in F1 2019. And I tried to start it in F2 with a previous video, but the video got kind of... Messy, but I'll bring it. I'll give it to you really quickly. Uh, we lost the F2 championship to Devin Butler, but we did sign with McLaren again. So I'm back in the orange and blue. This time, my teammate is Lando Norris. What's up, Lando? And today we're starting off, of course, with the Australian Grand Prix, which we qualified 13th on the grid for which just barely meets our qualifying goal position. So hopefully we can meet the finishing goal position as well. And if you watch any other Formula 1 career mode Let's Plays, you probably noticed that the AI difficulty has been ramped up a bit since last year. So instead of starting at the usual 100 AI difficulty, I'm starting on 85 and my challenge usually is that if I get into points, I bump it up by one in between each, in between the next, before the next uh, race weekend. So, but uh, in this case, I'm going to bump it up to five if I finish in the points. So, if I finish in the points here in Melbourne, I'll bump it up to 90. And then, same thing with Bahrain, if I finish in the points there, 95. And if I finish in points in China, it'll be 100. Basically, if I finish in points three times, it'll be at 100. And then from there, I'll bump it up one. But we probably won't have to worry about that too much until then. Hopefully, I can be competitive. That's what I want to be. And uh, we looked pretty competitive, at least as far as McLaren's concerned. Yeah, McLaren, we're fourth from the bottom in the performance comparison. So we should be roughly around the top of the non-points finishers. So 14th shouldn't be too hard to do. So with that all out of the way, let's get into it. New drivers, new cars, it's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now that plays host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. We have plenty of changes to the sport this year with tweaks to the regulations, a fresh looking spread of tyre compounds and of course some changes to the roster of car manufacturers. It's goodbye to Sauber and hello once again to the classic name of Alfa Romeo in Formula One. It's also goodbye to Force India, they've been rebranded as Racing Point. Joining me to take you through all the action of the 2019 Formula One season is Anthony Davidson. And it's great to have you with us. Thanks, Crofty. Always happy to be here, and I'm looking forward to getting underway. Last year was Mercedes' fifth constructors' title in a row, although for the first half of the season, it was absolutely neck and neck with the Ferraris. Hopefully this year, we can see the chasing pack take that final step, as I'd love to see a championship contest all the way up to the final race in Abu Dhabi. Another story to keep an eye on is the performance of Red Bull, who have switched to the Honda Power Unit this year. What that will mean for both their performance and reliability remains to be seen. 
Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Pierre Gasly and Leclerc, Butler, Perez, Ricardo, and Nico Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Weber, Falcon, and Norris, Raikkonen, Albon, George Russell, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Grosjean, and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, you've qualified higher than we expected, so let's try to build on this position throughout the race. Got it, Jeff. All right. Yeah, I'm still doing 25% races, just until I get more confidence that I can do a whole, basically an hour of racing on here. But uh, yeah, right now we've got the soft to medium strategy selected. That seems like the better strategy, honestly, but let's see if I can make it any better. Apparently I can't, okay. All right, well, let's see if we can Take out some fuel. I don't think we'll need that much. Well, seeing as how the uh, Renault power unit isn't all that great in a straight line, I might have to bump it up to rich a bit more. All right. Yeah, we're starting 13th, and we hope to finish in the points. But realistically, I think we can. I'm pretty sure we can finish in top 14. So, with that out of the way, let's get the season going. Oh, and you might have seen that Lucas Weber is at Toro Rosso and Devin Butler is in Racing Point. All right, let's go. All right, here we are on the grid for the Australian Grand Prix. Lights out, here we go. Pretty decent start off the grid. Oh, very tight. Oh, someone's lost a bit of the wing. Also been in my wing. Car, Holy what? What happened? Let me know you're okay. What was that? Okay. In this one instance, I'm going to use a flashback because that was just a mess. Ugh. I mean, what the heck? Okay, gotta get used to this now. Racing. I did practice in qualifying really easily. That's a decent start. Good job. Safety car deployed. Right, that was my fault. Wow, that was a nuts first lap. And we got a full safety car. <laughs> that didn't take long. I would get new tires, because I'm pretty sure these are pretty heat up, heated up. But, uh... Oh, we got some cars in the pits. They still look good. Got a lot of <laughs> wing damage and debris on the first two turns. Oh, Verstappen got it into it. Wow. He used to racing on his track again. I didn't do a whole lot of side-by-side -side racing in practice or qualifying, so... Well, you're not supposed to really race in qualifying anyway, so... I guess it's a good thing. The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. Can it really last all that long? Okay, so Verstappen and this racing point driver, might be Butler, I don't know. They got a free pit stop, so they're already good to go to the end. So I'm wondering if I should come in. Actually, I think both racing point, yeah, both racing points are behind me. So it's Perez and Butler. 
Uh, I wonder. Okay, let's get oh, ready to go never mind. Again. The safety car is in this lap. I got a terrible jump. Green flag. <sighs> Let's go with Giovinazzi, though. If you think you can get past, increase ERS deployment to overtake mode. I probably can, just not yet. I'm keeping up with them though. That's good. I can tell at any moment now the staff is gonna just breeze by me. Breeze by me. Increase ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Give me a second, Jeff. I'm concentrating. Ugh. All right, bump up to high. Oh, there comes Sappen. Oh, I'm so lucky I didn't pop my tire from that. Also, how did I hold up for Stappen? Oh, forming a train here. Someone's going slow. Oh, it's Norris. Looks like Norris. Oh boy. I get really hairy. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Albon. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm sorry for Alex though. Always has some, has some space and I finally passed Giovinazzi. And I guess Nora's got his act together. He's speeding up again. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. I still haven't picked up that debris. It's scaring me. I'm being attacked again by Verstappen. Oh, he locks up. Huh. And he gets a slow exit. Okay, I can't go for that. Oof! Well. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. I noticed. Well, I got DRS at least. Thank you. I catch up to this group again. Don't have DRS. Oh, I do have DRS. Sorry, my microphone is blocking the lower right hand corner. Oh, Butler's on my inside. I'm trying to get to my inside. Oh, not again. Ugh. Come on, Max. Yeah, I'm coming in. Ah, wrong button. Yeah, go get it, bug. Confirm change. Got that confirmed. All right, coming in this time. Okay. Release, release. All right, here we go. Bit unfortunate we had to do that, but it is what it is. All right, let's go. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. I'm trying to put the hammer down. We can at least catch up to Albon. Alright, passing someone who's in pit. In pit road. It's, uh, Vettel. And Weber. The car behind you has just fitted the hard tires. Car behind, running hards. Wow, hard tires? That's a different strategy. Okay. Alright, Lando's in the pits. Alright, I got a Alfa Romeo coming out of pits. It's Giovinazzi again. 
See if I can catch up to the back of him. He's going for the pass on Albon. By the side by side through this section. It's not the best idea. Yeah. Smartened up. Puff of smoke there. And there. Got DRS. No one's behind me, so I'm good. Looking for the dive bomb, but too far back. Okay, you're catching the car ahead, but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tires. Got it, Jeff. Oh, Pierre Gasly's out. That's one free spot for us. If there he is. Ugh. All right, Vettel's still behind me for some reason. I wonder if we got damage or something. Either way, he's probably gonna pass me sooner or later. Oh, that was a dive bomb and a half. I gotta go, Gio. Come on, let me get some DRS Albon. Nope, not this time. Oh, Vettel's by behind me. Alright. Got him now. Yeah, you defend. Gotcha. Just gonna get one more spot. That'll be good. We can turn this disaster of a race into a positive. Ah! Uh. Over steer. Oh, that'll still there. I mean, he's further behind me. Still. All right, I got Kubica in my sights now. DRS. Let's do it. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Oh yeah. Got on the curb. A little too much. Should have to get him now. I mean it's DRS and his slipstream. Got him. Now I just have to finish 14th. That'd be good. Max was what? But he was behind. Okay. Wow. Talk about a rise from the depths. Yeah, as long as we keep Sebastian Vettel behind us, we should be good. I knew I probably should have put it under that yellow flag. Uh, we're gonna come through to finish 14th here in Australia. Yeah. That's the end of the race. Woo. We'll see you in Park for me. Wow, Max Verstappen. Basically from 18th. was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. 
What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. They sure There's did. There's so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you hit the fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll oh, have got himself chance. two points. That's exactly what nice. happened today. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. Sergio it's Perez. Been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. Are you chanting Max? That's a podium. Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Charles Leclerc. And, now let's take and Sergio Perez came in second. Standings. Today's performance means Max Verstappen now owns the top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing yeah. talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Roman Grosjean's my driver of the day. I don't think I've ever seen such a strong performance from him. It's time to check out the constructors. This is a standing. wacky finishing order. Six points move up to the top of the standings. Well, and wow. into another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. All right. Well, this is the finishing order. We got Sergio Perez in second, Devin Butler in his first ever race in Formula One, finishing fourth. I, I might have to increase the race length just from this. Uh, Valtteri Bottas in 5th, Magnussen in 6th, Hamilton somehow finishing 7th, Hulkenberg 8th, Lando Norris in ninth, and Daniel Ricciardo finishing 10th in his home race. We finished 14th after colliding with the eventual leader and winner, Max Verstappen, as he made his way back up from 18th after pitting on the safety car, which I probably should have done in hindsight. But uh, his teammate finished his dead last after failing to finish. Uh, our former teammate Lucas, Web Lucas Weber finishes 18th in his debut race. And uh, yeah, Sebastian Vettel somehow finishing 15th. He fit, had to pit it twice for some reason. I understand that. But yeah, that was the race. Alright, now after the race, we get some emails. And we got one from, we got a interview transcript from Devin Butler's interview. Claire asks game line positions. You never estimate the underdog. I've always said that I'm here to grind my way to the top, and I think there's nothing more evident of that than what went down today's race. You just got a kinda lucky man, both you and Sergio Perez. In fact, Sergio got even more lucky, because he actually ended up on the podium, unlike you. I think you're really cool with the car out there. You must be too. Yeah, I think I ha had a very good day out there today. I just hope the fans enjoy the show. They won't get to see that every day. Uh huh. And we also got invited to a invitational event. But uh, yeah, that's going to end today's video. We're going to be going to Bahrain next. But till then, I'm Flash Sentry, and I'll see you guys then.